Hi there, I'm Eitan, and welcome back to the Wix Wiz. Today we're going to be tackling a challenge together, and that is the fact that we have no option to pin elements in the mobile version of our Wix Classic website. And I'm going to be showing you how to overcome this using some custom code that we're going to inject in our dashboards so that you can make your website look something like this. If you could see that green element there that's stuck on the bottom, that's what we're trying to achieve. So if you want to learn how to do all that and more, let's get started. Okay, so first let me reiterate the problem just to make sure we're all on the same page. So here I am in the classic Wix editor, and what I'm demonstrating now is not going to be a problem in Editor X or Studio, but specifically inside of the Wix editor, if we have an element, for example, this example notification box that I created, that we want to always display on a fixed place on our page, then if we're in desktop mode, then we have the ability to go and right click, and then we have this over here, which is pinned to screen. So I can just click pin to screen, and then I can choose what my offset will be. So let's say, I don't know, a 40 pixel offset from the bottom. And if I just out click out, then you can see that this container is always pinned to the same place no matter where I scroll. So basically we're trying to create some kind of element on our website that will stay pinned and it will not be scrolled out of view when you're scrolling your website. So on desktop, this is totally possible and we have no issue. The issue comes in when we go here into mobile. Uh, so if I switch here into mobile mode, then you'll notice that this box is no longer pinned and I also no longer have the ability to pin it. Uh, so that is the issue that we're trying to solve. How can we go ahead and pin something in mobile. So the solution to this requires us to inject some custom code into the custom code area in our dashboard. And you can reach the custom code area by going over here to settings. And then if you scroll all the way down over here, then you see this area with custom code. And uh, you can inject custom code either in the head, body, or body end, which is where we're going to be injecting our custom code. Uh, let me Note here that this is something that's only going to be possible on a premium Wix website where you have your own domain. So if you're currently working on the free version of your site, you're going to have to wait until the very end when you are ready to launch your website to the world and upgrade to premium in order to implement this solution that I'm showing you. And before I go ahead and actually inject the code snippet here, I want to show you a bit of the logic behind what we're going to be doing. And also we'll build the code snippet together in VS Code in order to inject over here. Okay, so here I am in VS Code. And what I've done is I've created a very simple HTML website, quote unquote. And what you can see is that here I have uh, one div uh, up here. And that's styled to have a height of 3,000 pixels and a width of 3,000 pixels, text align center. And within that div, I have one more div, which is styled with like a background of blue. And I have just a lot of lorem ipsum here. So very, very, very simple uh, website. And you can see what this actually looks like visually uh, right over here. Okay, so this is what that, that HTML looks like uh, on inside of the browser. And my goal is essentially to pin this blue element over here. So now you can see it's not pinned. And what I want to do is to pin it so that it sticks either to the top or the bottom, so that as I scroll, you'll always see this blue div right over here. So in order to do that, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, we just have to go to our code, and I'm going to change the display, uh, the position, sorry, not display, but the position of this element to fixed. So I'm going to change this to position fixed right over here. So this is essentially what I changed. And I'm also going to give it a distance, let's say from the top. So I'm going to say top, let's say 30 pixels. So now this should, this is by the way, CSS that I'm writing here in line. And I'm going to just go ahead and save this. And let's head back to the site and I'm going to give it a refresh. And now you can see that it is pinned. Okay, it's fixed to the top. And no matter how much I scroll, you'll always see the blue. Um, so essentially, what we're going to be doing is injecting some custom code, which will do the same thing with our container element on mobile. So it will kind of grab it, 
and it will give it a position of fixed using CSS. And then even on mobile, it will still be pinned. So let's see how we're going to do that. Okay, so I've cleaned my slate here in VS Code, and I'm going to be writing the code that we're injecting in the custom code in Wix here in VS Code because it's really hard to write code there. It's not really meant for writing code. It's just meant for kind of pasting code that you've already written. So let's write the code over here. It's not a lot, but we're essentially going to have a script, uh, which is going to allow us to add JavaScript to the HTML. And the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to select that element which we're trying to pin. So I'm going to do that using const, and we'll call this the uh, to pin. Let's call it the element to pin. And I will use document dot and get element by ID. And now we need to go on a mission and we need to get the ID of this element inside of the HTML. So here I am on the published site and this is the element that we are trying to pin. So what I can do here is I can either right click and then click inspect and then that will take me to this element right over here. I also have the option of clicking here on this element inspector and then just finding this element uh, right over here. The key is in, to find um, some way that we can identify this element and grab it um, using our JavaScript. Um, so if I select this element over here, then we can see that you know, Wix elements are kind of built by not just having one simple div, but they have like divs within divs within divs and it has to do with how they render the site after you've dragged and dropped all your elements there. Uh, but basically, we want to look for a certain parent element here that has an ID. Okay, so you can see here that this div has an ID, and that will make it easy for us to select the div. Um, you will want to note that you see here an orange on the bottom when I hover over. That's because it has like a built-in margin from the bottom. Um, so that's something we might want to remove using our styling uh, later on, but that's just one little small thing to note. Uh, there are other ways to select the HTML elements as well. It doesn't have to be by ID necessarily, but I find ID the easiest to work with initially. And so for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you how to do it with the ID. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this ID from right over here. And I'm going to head back to our VS code. And I'm going to just say const zoom in here. So const ID, or let's call it um, to pin ID. And I'll paste the ID right over here. And then here inside of get element by ID, I'll just put our variable, which is to pin ID. Okay, so now that we have the variable uh, essentially selected or the element, sorry, essentially selected, all we need to do is to change its styling. So I'm going to say here to pin dot style dot position equals two and i'm going to change it to fixed okay and let's go ahead and grab all this code now and i'm going to go back to our editor over uh, sorry the dashboard over here and i'm going to go here to body end and it's very important to put it at body end because we need this code to run after all the HTML has already rendered for our site because essentially we're trying to select an element that exists on the website. So if we call it somewhere up here before the body, then we don't actually have that element rendered to select. Uh, so make sure to put it here in the body end. And I'm just going to paste our code snippet right over here. And I'm going to change the name here, let's say uh, pin, just that I know how to find it afterwards if I need to make any changes. And I'm going to initially load this uh, on all pages. I mean, it really depends on if your element is an element that's supposed to be showing on all pages or it's an element that's just, let's say, on the home page. Um, so that's how you'd make this decision regarding all pages versus uh, choose specific pages. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply right over here. And this should already be taking effect on our website. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what this looks like now on my phone. Okay, so I've made a few visual changes to the site just so that it would be more clear that this actually is working. Uh, so you can see I added these like random welcome sections and I've also changed the actual pinned element to like a brighter green so we can see it. And obviously it's working on desktop. And if I go over here and I just show you this on my phone, uh, hopefully you can see this over here, then 
if I scroll, then it's kind of just stuck there and pinned. Um, so that's pretty much working. Uh, you'll notice that here it kind of goes under one of the other uh, sections. So that's something that we're going to want to go ahead and fix there. And also that it's kind of on top and not on the bottom. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do now uh, in terms of putting it where you want it to be on the screen and also making sure that it doesn't accidentally go under any of the other elements. So here we are back in our VS Code, and essentially in order to do the two things that I mentioned, we just have to add a few more styles here uh, to the two pin. So let's tap into two pin again, and we'll do style. And the first thing I want to do is to make it on the bottom and not on the top. So I'm just going to set the bottom position to, let's say, uh, 30 pixels, and that should place it at about 30 pixels from the bottom of the screen. And the other thing we want to do is make sure that it doesn't accidentally go behind any of the other elements. So in order to do that, I'm just going to do to pin dot style, and I'm going to set something called the Z index. And that's essentially the rules of the layers kind of visually, like if you lay your website down flat, and you kind of look at it from the side, then what will be on top of each other. So the higher the Z index, the more upward the element will be. So the bottom the very bottom is zero. Well, there could technically be minus as well. So the middle is zero. And then if we give it a very high Z index, then that should ensure that it's visually on the very top. So that when we look at our website, we'll definitely always see it. Um, so I'm going to give it just like a Z index of, let's say, uh, 1000. Uh, and then let's go ahead and copy this code snippet. And I'm going to go ahead and put it instead of the current one that we have over here. Let's just edit the settings here, and I'm just going to select everything and paste that in there. Apply, and now I'm going to publish the site, and let me show you what it looks like now. Okay, so here I am back on the live site, and here this desktop, it's still working, of course. And I do want to point out at this uh, occasion that our desktop is also being affected by the code that we currently wrote. So technically, the pin here is now happening because of the code that we wrote and not because of the pin setting that we set in the desktop. And if you would have seen when I refreshed the page, the notification actually jumped up a little bit because it was affected by the bottom that I set and not where I actually placed it on my screen. If you want to only affect the code of your mobile version and you want to do the pinning on desktop using the Wix pin and then the mobile version do with this kind of hack, then you can use something called Media Query to only apply this CSS to specific um, screen sizes, or you can also uh, just use plain old JavaScript and get the size of the window, uh, because anyways, we're applying these styles via script. So there's different approaches to it, but you'll note that you'll have to make some adjustments if you want this to apply only to the mobile version of your site. Um, and now let me show you what this looks like uh, on my phone. So if I go over here, can you see now it's kind of like on the bottom. And if I scroll, it sticks in place and it's above everything else. Okay, so we have uh, no more issues over there. And if you find any issues in your specific version, it's really just a matter of making some touch ups in the code snippet that you're putting in the custom code. So that is how um, to solve or at least one way to solve uh, the issue of not being able to pin elements uh, in the mobile version of Classic Wix Editor. I hope you found this video informative. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And if you want to see more tips and tricks like this one, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.